Hey guys, so let me just show you guys what's happening right now in this course right now. So I just moved my webcam a bit up so that we can do other things. So right down here, we have this thing called Start Programming. So it takes us to a website called YouTube. I think everyone knows about this website. But right now we're, gonna, we're not going to be looking at YouTube because we're going to like stop HTML for a while. Okay, we're going to put a pause on HTML. Because right now we need to do a bit more other things to our HTML thing. I don't have internet at the moment. But... If you actually click the link, you can go to YouTube. That's my YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Anyways, so we did a lot so over the past few days. This channel just started, and this is what we've got. This is, looks pretty good, honestly. Have you ever made a website in your life? You haven't. So this looks pretty good for now. So what we're going to do first... No, that's my project. That's my folder. We're going to go to brackets. So I, tur I turned the theme to white theme. I thought you guys could not like actually like read anything. So we created this thing. This is our main HTML file. But have you seen those websites out there that look, they don't look white and black. They don't have a big HTML drawing right in front of them. They look fancy, they look attractive. That's what makes those websites very neat. That's what makes us go to those websites. They look so cool. And honestly, if you look at a website and the website looks so bad, you're, you're probably just gonna get out of that website and go search for a different website. But if you, if you, so we have to make the website look attracting. If I gave this to my little brother and I told him to go through this whole thing, he's probably going to go back and like do something else. So this website looks too bad. We got to change it. We got to make it look cooler. So we got to make this thing look a bit more better than it is right now. So we're going to go to our brackets and we're going to open a new file. A new file right now. What is in this new file? You'll see in a few seconds. So we have untitled one. We're going to save it. And you might be asking, what is the name of the theme? So we're going to start our lesson with CSS. Ever wonder what CSS is? My computer is going to break. CSS is um, a document that allows you to edit your web page or make it look more good. It's, like, it's basically the designer of your web page. So we're going to be the designer of our web page and we're going to make a CSS file. Um, so we're going to edit this HTML file. Well, it's not an HTML file, it's a CSS file. So what people usually do is they name it with style.css or, yeah. So whenever like you're in a company and you're working with the web page designing and all, but then you get fired and somebody else comes in your job, they can see that style.css and they know this is the main copy of your whole web page CSS file. So now we're going to save this and it's going to be renamed as a CSS file. So brackets right down here with my cursor again finds out this is a CSS file. This is nice. So what we're going to first do is go over a few examples. But before we go through examples, we're going to look more deeper. So what is CSS? It's a cascading style sheet. Um, this cascading style sheet is a language used for describing the presentation of a document in a markup language. In easy words, it's the, basically the designer of your markup language. So usually, you might do some code, but it doesn't work. So let's go over this small code right here. So if you want to understand this code better, you're already watching this video, but if you're reading the book and you never watched the video, you can just go here and like you know you can watch it. But right here we have a small example. We have this thing called H2 color black, color black, font size 22, background color blue. So we're gonna like copy this thing and we're gonna put it in our brackets folder. What is this? We're going to put this in our brackets folder right now. So we can do a bit more editing if we wanted to later on. So right now we have H2 right here if you wanted to like use H2. So when we're going to reload here, you're going to notice there's no, nothing different about our web page. Our web page looks the same. There's no designing, there's nothing on this web page. So we're going to go back to our brackets and we have to link them. So this is the code for linking. So for example, you have your head document right here, like first doc, it's literally an example. You can write link href, like, you know, you can copy this whole code. You can copy this whole code, put it down, and it links your HTML file, style.css. If you don't name it style.css, it can be any other name, and it will work. Because it should be there, oh my gosh. And it will be there. So we can go to style.css right now. No, I mean, sorry, our HTML document, go to our head, and copy this. So now, when we reload, we're going to see a difference. 
Oh, I didn't, we didn't see a difference. Why not? So I got the thing fixed. So if you look at here, we have my project in the same thing. So what was our code right now? We can go back to this style of CSS. So I changed it to H1, but you can go to H2 again if you wanted to and reload. So now your H2 is like that. So what, what does this thing show? So the color is red. So if you look here, you see your font is red. So your font color is usually made red. And then when you look, it says background color blue. So it's pretty much easy. You can see the background of this whole thing is blue. And font size is 22 px. Px means pixels. So you always have to put pixels so that you can understand much better. For example, if I put 100 pixels, well, it's going to be big. It's going to be massive. You can see that. Now, on a normal web page, for a subtitle, 36 px is beautiful. So we're going to be using 36 px. So now that looks good. But we need to make it more lightish in color. So modern HTML websites don't have dark colors. They have more. They have more of a. How do I say it? More of a light colored thing, like a grayish scale kind of thing, a very light. Because very dark, it's very hard on somebody else's eyes, and you know it doesn't look that fun. So we can change this background color. I don't even need this code right here. I don't want background color. I do not put specific background colors, but I like putting some kind of blue. So I'm going to put sky blue, deep sky blue. Yeah. When you're going to reload, you're going to see it's going to be deep sky blue. Another thing you can do right now is you can go here and write body. So that means your whole body, your whole body web page, your whole web page basically. So you can just write background color like normal because I don't want to change a specific font. I can just use it like that. So I can change background color and I can make it like. It should be a light background color. So I think a good white light background color would be a gray scale. So I'm just gonna write light goldenrod yellow. Nope. So you can go through a lot of these and make see what is good for you. So I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going through a lot and I'm gonna see if what is good for me. And this looks pretty good, honestly. But make sure all your colors are in sync, like good together. If they're not good together, well, it's not gonna be good either. Black is too dark. If you put black right now. Yeah, it doesn't look cool. I don't like it at all. Not everyone will like the appeal to that. Actually, not every most of everyone will not like that. So you can put a very good thing. I'm gonna just gonna go with some kind of light color. So the light the light gray was pretty cool. So I'm just gonna see this one. How did this one look good? Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. I like this. So we've done a lot right now. We've done pretty good. This is. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Hit the like button. Subscribe so you can get notified in each and every video that comes out. And when the video comes out, you don't need to miss out on what else is happening. So this is good. We'll do more editing on the next episode. For now, just play around with this and make your web page look nice. Thank you guys for watching.